Today is a good day to make your mind as quiet as possible. But that doesn't mean it doesn't do any work. It does work. You work at the stillness, you work at the quietness. Whatever qualities of mind help with that, you encourage those. Those are to be developed. This is what right effort is. Some people say on a hot day it's difficult to make any effort. That's physical effort. Mental effort is still possible. It doesn't require too much thinking to recognize which kind of qualities will help calm the mind down and which ones will stir it up. And so you do your best to fight off the ones that will stir it up. It may not be quiet quite yet, but still you're heading in the right direction. There's what they call spirit tech right now, where they can manipulate the brain waves to induce feelings of oneness, experience of a, where there's no senses sense of the senses at all. But the machine is doing all the work for you. You don't learn anything from that. Don't gain any wisdom, any insight. It's the insight that comes from learning how to bring the mind down, bring the mind to stillness, keep it there, knowing, knowing what you have to do and observing what you've done that gets good results. That's where wisdom comes from. And it's the wisdom that's going to set you free. So do the work that needs to be done to bring the mind to stillness, because the mind, when it's still, is cool. That's why the Buddha compared it to a fire. Back in those days they believed that when a fire was burning, it had latched onto its fuel, was clinging to its fuel, and was agitated. But when it could be brought to calm, then it would let go of the fuel and be freed. So in the same way. Your awareness is agitated. We train it how to let go of the things that are causing it trouble, and that frees the mind. When the mind is free, then it grows cool, like a fire that has grown cool. So remind yourself that the heat of the world outside is nothing compared to the heat of the mind when it's worked up. It's got the fires of passion, aversion, and delusion burning inside. We're going to put out those fires. And then the heat outside doesn't really impinge on the mind at all. That's the kind of effort you make on a day like this. As the Buddha said, it's so easy to say, well, it's too cold outside, it's too hot outside to do the practice. But the cold and the heat have nothing to do with the practice. Those are affairs of the body, whereas the practice is an affair of the mind.